Permanent handicap placards are issued to people with legitimate disabilities to make life a little easier. But watch what our investigation found outside of a gym in Hialeah. We showed our video to cardiologist Dr. Gilbert Concepcion. It bothers me because it's a blatant abuse. A two-month-long investigation revealed how outside these apparently able-bodied gym goers nabbed handicapped spots in this crowded parking lot. Is this your handicap permit? Who do you think it belongs to? Don't you see me with the keys? Inside, they lift weights and do ab exercises, even play racquetball as this man did on at least two occasions. He tells me he had surgery a while back from injuries he got playing racquetball, which he has apparently recovered from enough to resume the sport, not to walk to a parking space far from the front door. There's no gray zone here. That's the reaction we got from the doctor when we showed him this gentleman's video. He may have had a temporary disability at the time of surgery, if indeed that's what he had, but certainly he has not manifested any disability while he's playing racquetball or walking without any type of limitation to his car. People with temporary disabilities can get a six-month placard, but this man's placard was permanent. Recipients must meet strict criteria, and doctors who fill out the application are entrusted with making sure they do. The permanent placards are for the legally blind or for someone with a permanent disability that limits or impairs his or her ability to walk 200 feet. Other qualifying disabilities include inability to walk without a brace, a cane, crutch, prosthetic device, the need to permanently use a wheelchair, people who must use portable oxygen or have a severe cardiac condition. Dr. Concepcion says he strictly adheres to the mandatory criteria. Some patients have got, even gotten upset with me because they think that the fact that they had a heart attack or they had a heart procedure in the past makes them eligible for the handicap permit and indeed most patients don't. Now there's plenty of reasons to want a permit. You usually get to park close to the front door and sometimes parking lots that charge allow people with the handicap placards to park for free. How would someone get a permit without really needing it? Sometimes doctors in their busy schedule continue to extend disabilities without really checking. And sometimes, as we found out, some people borrow their relative's permit, like this young man whom we later saw lifting weights. Uh, is that your handicap parking? My dad's. Okay, why are you parking in handicapped? This is for people who are coming here to have therapy. Why am I being recorded? Why are you using a handicap sticker that's not yours? It infuriates me. It's a, it's a gross uh, abuse of that privilege.